Welcome back to my favorite tropes on Speeder TV. I know I haven't posted in like a month, but I've just been stuck staring at my refrigerator just thinking about stuff, you know? Okay, maybe not, but what is fridge logic? As always, we're going to tvtropes.org for our answer. Essentially, it's those moments of logic that hit you when you're doing something else. You know, when you're raiding your fridge and then you think, wait, how did that pineapple get under the sea? And how is it furnished? And are there stairs sometimes? Wasn't there like a whole book room? A library? How does this home work? But of course, in that case, the answer is just cartoon logic. It's the little internal inconsistencies that hit you at the most random times. And then there's fridge brilliance when something makes even more sense when you're looking at your yogurt. And then fridge horror when something's just kind of terrifying when you look at your orange juice the wrong way. It's your random shower thoughts, but it's like about Boy Meets World or something. Examples are a little less cut and dry than for some other tropes I'd cover. Some might be kind of a reach, some might be kind of spoilery, but I mean, uh, here we go. We got some fridge brilliance inside of Finding Dory when we think of how Dory could ever read. It's never really explained in Finding Nemo, but then in her own movie, we see she was raised in an aquarium around exhibits with a bunch of words around her, and these are pretty intelligent fish. For someone like Dory, whose memory is terrible, but she's surrounded by these words all the time, it makes sense that, you know, she could read, and then even she remembers things better when she reads something. Just keep swimming. But then we also get some fridge horror when you think about how the end of the movie goes, especially for the Marine Life Institute. Because they had all these animals that were not supposed to be released into the wild, and now they are, and they're just free. And then all the traffic accidents, and I mean, we're rooting for the fish in the movie, but the humans just lost a lot of jobs and possibly even lives, because those accidents were kind of bad. The Toy Story movies give us some potential fridge brilliance in the fact that Buzz and Woody are some pretty typically manly type of professions? Is cowboy a profession? In being an astronaut and a cowboy, two things that a lot of little boys typically look up to as things that are cool and manly. And then we never get reference to Andy's father and where he is if he's even alive. So in some way, Buzz and Woody could be some sort of replacement father figures in his childhood mind. Or in the pretty popular fan theory that Jesse's original owner was Andy's mom, because there's some evidence to suggest that. But then there's some definite fridge horror and the fact that toys are alive. Every part of that is horrifying. I mean, they live essentially until they're killed. They have a definite fear of death. They seem to just, if they die, it's probably really painful because they seem to be able to take a lot of punishment. They're just kind of alive all the time and over for years and generations. And they probably just see you naked all the time because you don't think they're alive. There's toys in your house and you're just getting out of shower. It's just all weird. It's weird. Space Jam, the greatest movie of all time, gives us the potential fridge brilliance in the fact that Marvin the Martian is the referee. Because he's an alien like the Monstars, but he's a Looney Tune like the Toon Squad, so he has ties on both sides, which means he's about as impartial as you can get, because he's, you know, doubly biased. But then some fridge logic questions arise, like, why did Michael Jordan's last shot at the end only count for two points when he was way behind the three-point line? Was that the best basketball decision when the entire other team is grabbing your legs and your whole team is wide open? How did the Monstars not foul out? Were, are, are there rules here? Were there rules? Even streetball has rules, man. In iCarly, we have some possible fridge brilliance and Freddy's random Spanish he would speak at times, which only really started after his GPS tracker that his mother had put into him was activated, which she said she had put in by a questionable doctor in Venezuela. So did that chip make Freddy speak Spanish randomly? The world may never know. But then fridge horror, um, what, what happened to Jeremy? You know, Jeremy, Jeremy, the one who was always sick, that kid just kind of disappeared after always being sick all the time. Is he all right? Is he okay? And I mean, I could go on for a long time with this. That's part of the reason I haven't posted in so long because I wanted to make this video and there were just too many options. So I'll just leave it there. Of course, go check out tvtropes.org as always because I just enjoy it over there. Thank you so much for watching, subscribe if you're new, hit the notification bell to let your speeder sense tingle when I upload. Uh, I'm not dead, and I will see you next week, probably, I know what I want to talk about. Uh, wash your hands.